Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a creative day. In this video series, we're going to design a beautiful website using Wix Studio from scratch. And I'm going to teach you how to use Wix Studio to create beautiful design. Along the way, I will also teach you about search engine optimization, performance optimization, and how to create a design that gives you maximum conversion, sales, or monetization. So first of all, uh, a quick tip here. When you are starting with the website, you can get the ideas and the color palette from different templates. So you can go to websites like Theme Forest, and from there you can look for different themes and get the ideas about how to add different elements in your website. You can also uh, use these templates to get the color palette. So uh, for example, you can uh, use the extension like Color Picker. I will leave the link in the description hover the mouse over any element and it will copy the code of that uh, color. So you can use this color now in your Wix uh, default colors right here. Okay, so it's a really uh, cool method to get instant inspiration. So yeah, make sure to uh, take the ideas from different templates and use them in your designs. Anyway, so uh, let's start with the design first. Uh, the first thing I would need to do is change the colors. To the ones that I want. Uh, I will keep the background and text to default, the white and black. Um, here I will change the color. Like this. Let's add more colors. The reason why we are doing this is because um, when you add new elements in the Wix Studio, it automatically assigns the default colors. So you don't have to worry about changing the default color all over again every time you add an element. All right, so now we have assigned the default color. The next step is uh, adding the essential applications. So for example, the blog and the store are the ones we're gonna use here. So I'm going to add them beforehand. Now, the reason why we are doing this is because uh, these applications add certain elements, design elements in Wix Studio. For example, this Wix blog will add a search bar on the header. Now, when we do that, it can disrupt the design. So so adding these elements can save you time and problems in future. Let's remove this and add the Wix store as well. So as you can see, this app has added these uh, login bar and the cart here, which is disrupting the design of the uh, menu. So that's why we are adding these applications beforehand. If you want to use some other elements like the booking app or program app, you should add them beforehand as well. So let's remove this. I will add them later on according to my design. Okay, um, now let's go to our main page and we are ready to design our website. Now, when you are designing the website, you should first focus on the conversion. If you have an e-commerce website, make sure the design focus on sales. If you have a booking service, make sure the design uh, focus on the booking element. And uh, if you have certain blog or any content system, make sure that you have enough space to rent to other businesses or you know maximize the uh, AdSense revenue by, by providing uh, you know, ad spaces. Okay, so here I want to create an e-commerce website. I'm thinking about creating a sports, uh, you know, sports store which sells different uh, products related to sports. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm not going to take, you know, elements from different tablets because I want to create something myself from scratch. So the first thing I'm thinking about adding is the anchor menu something that people can use to jump from one section to another. Elements like search bar or anchor menu or quick links can be really helpful in increasing the conversion of your business. So let's create an anchor menu. Uh, one thing you can do is go to the menu and search and from here you can find the anchor menu. However, I want to create my own anchor menu using individual elements because I want to add some advanced animations uh, which makes it uh, look cool. So what I'm going to do is I will use the uh, decorative elements and add a basic shape. 
let's change the background first so we can see clear right let's change this uh, basic shape All right, so this will be the clickable element of our anchor menu. Uh, the next thing we will need is a text. We will apply an animation to this text. So let's uh, design this text as well. Add the color, change the font here. 18 will be cool. And set the responsive behavior to hug the responsive behavior decides how will uh, this element look on mobile and tablet devices so let's give it a text for now okay now let's create an animation for uh, this anchor menu what i want to do is when people hover their mouse on this uh, shape this text will fade in so let's do that and let me teach you how to create basic animation in Wix Studio. So first of all you have to select the element, a trigger element. For this case it's the uh, basic shape. Go to animations and effect. Go to the animation, hover. And from here you need to select the element which you want to animate. Alright, so what will happen is when you interact with this shape this text will animate if you select the basic shape only this uh, shape will animate and nothing will happen to this text but if you select the text when you interact with this shape this text will animate so let's add the animation fade and as you can see let me uh, show you in preview when you hover the mouse on this the text animates the next thing I'm going to do is stack these elements together and this is something you should uh, make a habit. Um, whenever you are creating the design make sure to stack the elements together. This will help you a lot when you are uh, you know optimizing the design for mobile and tablets. So we have stacked them together now let's duplicate these elements. Select these stack all together and hit ctrl D to duplicate it. Once again, control D. Let's do it one more time. I think six will be enough. Another thing I'm going to do is add an entrance animation in these uh, basic shapes. So go here, go to entrance and glide will be cool, I think. Yeah. All right, let's do the same for these uh, elements as well, but with a twist. I'm going to add 0.1 second time delay in each consecutive uh, animation. So set it to 1.3. Do the same for all elements. All right, now if you preview the uh, website now, it looks really cool. All right, so this will be our uh, anchor menu. The last thing we're going to do is stack all these uh, elements together and distribute them horizontally. So go to layers, open the section here, select one element hold shift and you can select all the elements together you can do the same on the uh, drag and drop builder as well so stack together once again select all these elements together
and distribute them vertically. It will create an even space between the elements. Okay, so this is your uh, anchor menu. Now, one final thing I'm gonna do here is set the position to pinned. And what this does is this will make this element pinned to the page. So it doesn't change your uh, position for the element, no matter where you scroll on the page. So even if I, you know, add a section, for example, So people can just click on it and jump to different sections, making the navigation really easy. To add the anchor uh, menu, let me show you real quick. You have to select this section, go to anchor, and add the anchor. Now you can just go to your clickable element, And link it to the anchor so just go here click it and you will jump to that section so pretty cool design uh, for the anchor menu um, let's save this as an asset and you can delete it Now, whenever you want to add this element, just go to your assets and you can just add them wherever you want. 